Hey friends, thank you all so much for joining me for my favorite video of the year. I mean, I love a lot of the videos that I make, but this is a super exciting one for me. I do love Christmas time and I love gift giving. That's probably one of my love languages. So I am here to share with y'all all the gifts that I got for our four children ages six months to eight years old. I love these videos so that I can get gift ideas for my little ones and I take a lot of time to think of unique gift ideas and things that my children will enjoy and I want to share those with y'all in case uh, you see something for the little one in your life. I will of course link everything down in the description box if you want to check it out for the little one in your life and I will be sharing how much I paid for everything, how I look for deals and the total budget that I spent on each child. So let's go ahead and get started. So I usually get uh, Christmas pajamas and Burt's Bee was having a 50% off sale. So I went ahead and got those. I love Burt's Bee's pajamas. Um, I got this mugs of happiness. So I got my three youngest children's for about $9 and then my son's for $12.50. So that's really good. I was wanting to spend 10 to $15, and so I got a really good deal. So I got um, the footy pajama type for her, and it does have, for my littlest, and it does have the grips on the bottom, and then just the pants and um, top set for my other three children. <sighs> I ordered and then they said that one of the kids is, size is out of stock and so we're on back order and really really hoping that it will come before Christmas. <sighs> Starting with my littlest, she is six months old uh, so she'll be like seven and a half almost eight months by the time it is Christmas and I am doing four gifts from SC and then four gifts from my husband and I. So I'm doing a book for each of the children and I got this board book, The Sunny Day from Usborne um, Books. So this is a super cute one. I only paid $3.50 for this because I think it was on sale when I ordered it. So I think that's really good. It says it's regular $4.99. This stacking toy for $14, how much? $14.98 so it's a silicone stacking thing and it goes like this like a lot of my kids have liked stacking stuff but I've never had one like this so I thought it'd be really cool you know she can eh, gnaw on it as well we'll have to see about this little one but that's a super cute toy and then I got this poppet um, for $3.99 at uh, TJ Maxx actually. I got it at TJ Maxx. I love the colors on this and she's gonna love again chewing on it and then also starting to you know do that as she gets a little bit older. And then I got a little Squishmallow because these things are so soft so I only paid uh, $4.97 for this tiny one. Um, if she loves this one then her next birthday I'm getting a giant one. They are very soft. Um, but thank you for cousins for <laughs> suggesting these ones, but super cute. Okay, so the four that she's getting from my husband and I, the biggest one is this Cuddle and Kind doll. Um, so I have decided to give her this one, this little deer um, for Christmas. And then I do have this one out too because I love it so much and I just wanted to share it with y'all um, for... Her birthday I'm not really sure what other occasion I'm going to give this to her but so I actually ordered two and I got a discount code or something they don't have sales often but they do sometimes so I got um, with the sale that was going on one of these was $52.70 they are regular price let me tell you real fast they are so okay they're so I knew that they were really high quality, but they are just so much better in person too. I love them so much. Oh, they do have a larger version of these as well. 
Um, but I just got the smaller version. I think they're still a really good size. So this bunny, the little one is regular $68. The large one, which is 20 inches, this one's 13 inches, is $89. Um, I think this one might be slightly cheaper. And then I got her and her two sisters um, matching dresses from the company Mila and Rose. Uh, so this is the little dress and I did get them did I get them on sale? Honestly, I can't. I think I did get them a little bit on sale. I looked forever and ever and I don't know. I do love these little twirl dresses. The older girls are going to love those. But so I paid $20 each for these um, just really cute dresses. So that was one. And then I talked about these Ubi bath toys in my um, Christmas in July video. Um, but I ended up getting actually two sets because I think I got one on sale. So both of these were $8.19 a piece. Um, so this one has three sets. It's a bath toy that um, you can take apart and clean and it's so, so good. They look like really good quality as well. So um, each of these packs was $8.19, like I said. So uh, a cloud and a droplet. And then these, I don't even know what these are supposed to do. They're just like little fishies or something. So they say they squeeze and squirt uh, water out. So they still do that like the other bath toys, but you can open them up and clean them. I mean, wonderful, wonderful. And then the last thing that I got for her was this little set of three uh, silicone bracelets. And I want to say I got these on Amazon um, and I paid $12.99 for these. I don't know 100%. So that is her. Her total was $129.76. So in my Christmas in July video, I think I said that I wanted to spend uh, around, I wanted to stay closer to the $100 range, but I said $100 to $200. Um, I stayed really around that 150 mark for all of them um, and it's definitely it's an average because hers is a little bit more and I have one child that's a little bit above the 150 but the average is like literally right at $150 so that's what I spent on her and then the average uh, but I'll tell you the totals for each of the other children as well. Before I go into my second child um, a lot of the times if I have specific toys that I'm looking for either in my Amazon cart or on specific websites I'll sign up for the emails to show me when um, like sales are for specific websites or I'll check my Amazon list periodically um, to see if there is a good deal. That is how I am able to get sale prices is because I do watch them frequently. You know, I'm not like checking every single day. Um, but if I also know like what a regular price of the item is, then when I see it on sale and I'm like, okay, that's a really good deal. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Then I can get a good deal on that. So for my second child, she is three years old and her four gifts from SC is this Little Stickers Sloths book from Us Born Kids. Um, so it's like, it's actually a story. So I do really love these. Um, these stickers aren't reusable. So once they're on, like you're, that's where they stay. Um, but they can put them throughout the book and then whenever they're done with the stickers, then it is a book that they can read or we can read together. So I did pay I think $5.99 actually for this book. It says $7.99 on the back here, but I paid $5.99. Her second gift is these magnetic tiles. It is a 60 piece set. Um, we have a few magnet tiles that aren't exactly like this and she loves playing with them. Um, I kind of like these a little bit better and I think that she will enjoy them as well. I got these on sale for $19.54 on Amazon. If you hear children, they are with my husband down in the basement, <sighs> but they love me a lot. Anyways, so, <laughs> um... The third gift for her from SC is going to be this Tawny figure. I had to wait really like a long time for this because it kept getting back ordered as well. Luckily, I ordered a lot of stuff that I knew for sure I was getting back in August. Um, so it has already come. But this is Elsa. Um, if you're not familiar with the Tawny box, I think that's how you say it. 
It's basically a little box um, that you have these figures um, and you put them on top so the child can put them on top and it plays either music or stories or sometimes both like it'll have a few songs on one of these figures and then it'll have a story as well and it is a really really great toy. So I got the tiny box for her last year and a couple figures and then I got a couple figures for her birthday and then um, it, I'm gonna get her one of these and it's like a good gift to put on her wish list for other people to get as well And then her last gift from SC are these little things. She loves fidget toys and squishy type of things So this is I I'm not sure I got we got these at Walmart So this is a, like a little cat is peeking out the window and then his tail is out um, the back so it's a little squishy toy and then these are like squishy noodles and it's in like a little noodle box. So it's super cute. And the tiny figure was $14.99. It's just regular um, price. I didn't get that one on sale. And then these two were $6 together. Okay, so the four gifts from my husband and I, this Melissa and Doug Beauty Salon. So I actually was watching this and I got it on a really good sale at Target. So I paid $22.46 for this. I can't remember what it is regular price, but it's quite a lot more than that. So I was really happy about that. And then... I got, I did pay $40, um, oh, okay, so I am going to insert some footage here of the doctor set that I got for her for her birthday. Hey y'all, it's past Melissa here. I wanted to go ahead and film this and share with y'all what gifts I'm getting for my three-year-old daughter for her birthday and just give y'all some more ideas for that age range. So... We're gonna go through these pretty quickly. I usually like to spend about $100 on birthday gifts. I went a little bit over and did 130 for her this year just because I found like two things at a consignment sale that was really good. And we've been going through toys and stuff and like combining um, the girl's room and everything. And I'm like, she doesn't actually have that many toys that are her toys. I don't know. She just plays with a lot of um, the other kids' toys, and I'm not really sure why she just has so few. <laughs> so I felt a little bad. <laughs> so this is what I got her. I Let's see, the biggest one that I got her, she has been asking. I was originally going to do this for Christmas, um, but... And I may still get like a few add-on items for this. And I, I did talk about this in my um, Christmas in July planning video. But a doctor set. And I have not one, but two. And I'll tell you the reason. So I really wanted a nice quality wooden doctor set. I was looking at um, this one right here and it was about $50 regular price. I could sometimes get it on sale for like $46 or something like that. But even that one had reviews of the certain parts breaking. They People said the bag was not real good quality. And I'm like, I want something that's going to last a long time because this is going to get a lot of play my daughter loves playing doctor and I just I wanted something that was going to be really good quality so there are things that are wrong with every single doctor set on planet earth so I'm like what if I get these two and kind of combine the one the pieces that are really good I can like sell the next kids consignment sale or just donate the other things I'm not using and pay about the same that I was going to so these two together were $49 together so oh, one was $20.99 on sale I think this hape one and then this was $19.99 originally so these are the things. I will have to combine them and maybe by Christmas time I'll show you how it's holding up. Um, but this hape one, I really, really loved this fabric zipper um, 
box like why don't they make i mean i'm sure this is super cheap to make um but it's just a really like it's gonna stand the test of time it's like a lunch box basically i mean it's a little bit smaller uh this is not wooden uh, the stethoscope but it looks pretty good and then it has these pieces in it a blood trip a, a blood pressure cuff we'll see uh i'm probably we'll see like how many pieces I may put all the pieces in that bag, um, and then I'll just let you know at Christmas time how they held up. Um, this is like a thermometer, so it's kind of cool. And then this is one of the things that she requested, a shot. And then like some ointment or something like that. So that's everything that comes in the Hape one. This one, I'm not really prepared to get everything out right now. I'll show you at the end. But this box if it was a tin it would be really good it's not a tin it's cardboard and everybody's like this thing breaks in two seconds so that for sure i'm going to be getting rid of and putting everything in here um you know this is everything that comes in there depending on if the stethoscopes um last i might get a, a cheap i think there's one for like 7.99 um like learning stethoscope a student stethoscope um, that actually like would work if for her doctor set. Second thing that I got was does does your child like shark talk? I overpaid for this probably, but they don't have that many shark dog plushies. Uh, this was twenty one ninety nine on Amazon, and I think it was worth it because she is going to absolutely love this toy love it also going along with stuffed animals i picked this up at a consignment sale she loves uh, her she has one big care bear um that she loves and this was pretty much brand new it looks like they took this out and maybe put it back um but everything else is still in so all of these mini care bears for ten dollars ah, the consignment sale and then also at the consignment sale I got her this mermaid tail. We're going to use it as a blanket because it's very soft on the inside for a blanket. Her sister has one, not like this, but a um, mermaid tail blanket, and she has been asking for one. So that is a gift. And then I also got her this little um, learning rainbow. It can do counting and... Um, colors so it I'll put a picture of it but it's basically like a wood rainbow and then these are little pom-pom balls um, that you can put and use um, it's you know fine motor skills she's three and both the kids went back to school so you know I wanted to get a few like learning fun toys for her to be able to do so that was super cute and this was actually pretty let me, see, let me see how much money it was. This was $16.47. I think I got this one on sale. Most of the stuff on Amazon I usually have my eye on for a while and I'll just check periodically and get them when I know that they're a good price. So that was $16.47 when I bought it. This other little learning set, so this is a learning resources. I really love this brand. Um, it's a rock and gem surprise so she can like hammer them she loves to hammer things and then it has gems inside and you can learn the shapes um and same thing with colors and stuff too so that is one and that i got on sale pretty good i think uh ten dollars and 94 cents that's how much i paid for that one when it was on sale and then i got her two tawny figures so we have, uh, I had got her Tawny Box last year for Christmas, and they have been loving it. It wasn't, like, a huge hit in the very beginning, but they've been, her and her sister specifically have been really, really getting into it lately. Um, and so I got a uh, Rapunzel one, and I think, I can't remember what songs. It has a few songs from the movie, and then I think, like, a story. Also, I think the same thing with Moana as well. Um, so, uh, let me see. And I one of these I got with, like, a Target purchase where I got money off of toys and stuff. So, um, one of them I got 
cheaper for $11.06, and then the other one I paid regular price for a tawny figure, $14.99. So update on that, she loves all the pieces. None of the pieces have broken for us. I did switch out and I'm only using the fabric case. That other case was cardboard and it was eh. So I am loving the case and all of the wooden pieces, but she really loves band-aids and to kind of like do some more taking care of type of thing. So I found this shop on Etsy. I haven't gotten them yet, so I'll put pictures here. I found this shop on Etsy that makes um, little band-aids in like a little case and then some um, like wrist type of sleeves and like a knee brace. So I got her, I think a small for like a child and a large that I could probably put on like a wrist brace um, and then a small knee brace and then I think five band-aids with a case and yes they are homemade um, and I'm supporting a local not local but a small shop on Etsy so I did pay $40.66 for those and then she also got the matching dress for $20 and then her last gift um, which is this rainbow corns that we paid $37.41 for that was with tax and guess what guys right now Walmart has it on their Black Friday deal for $20 and I keep on going back and forth whether I'm like to save $15 should I return this one and then buy that one for $20? I'm going back and forth. It's $15. Is it worth my time? I don't know. But like, if you want it, get it. Get, get it now? Hopefully by the time I post this video, it's still on sale. Um, but it's $20 right now. So that is a really good deal. And I think she'll just have fun um, with the toys inside, but then opening them up. Her total was a little bit more than the other ones is $167. So my next child is a five-year-old girl and her four gifts from SC are this little sparkly unicorns sticker book that's the same concept as the other sticker book. Um, it's just you know, sparkly stickers too, to where it's a story and then she can put the stickers in and then we can have the story to enjoy after. I did pay $8.99 for this and it looks like that's how much that book is. The next one uh, for her is, and she loves anything little, tiny, like especially tiny food to set up. Um, she plays with them with her Barbies, but honestly, I think she enjoys setting them up and just playing with the little things the most. I love tiny things, so it makes sense. But I actually got these on sale for $3 each, so I got 10 of them for $30, um, which is a really good price for these. There's five little surprises in each of them, so I got 10 of these. And then to go with that, I got the um, mini brands, uh, like the thing to where you can, if you find the ones that go in here, then you can put them in and it's a little collector's case. And I got this case on super, super sale for $1.40 because I like had a coupon and it was on sale. It was like a whole bunch of stuff. And then um, she has been wanting a poppet purse for a long time and I saw this at Ross for $10.99. So I got her a unicorn poppet purse. I promise he's with her um, and then the last thing is this Pokemon cards and tins we love Pokemon cards in this house especially my oldest two and my husband um, found this and the one that we're getting my son on a sale or like a package for $20 for both of them so $10 for this one um, at Sam's Club so sometimes you can check um, those and we knew for sure that our kids love Pokemon cards and this would be a good gift. So we got that um, And then the four gifts for her from my husband and I is this mermaid makeup set It says that it's toxin free or whatever, but I don't know I had wanted to try to get some more like homemade type makeup from Etsy, but she really really wanted this set I'll put a picture here of all the stuff that's in here. I think she really liked this makeup bag as well. Um, so that was specifically on her wish list. And I paid $19.08 for this. Um, 
And then she got a blingers set, which is basically like a little clip thing where you put um, jewels inside of it and you clip jewels on your hair or you can do it on clothes. They don't stay forever, but they're sticky and they stay for a bit. Um, so I got a little case uh, to put her little, like the device in that does that. And then, I, so I paid $12.79 for this. And then I got two refill packs. Um, how many are in here? So it says five discs in each of these. So 10 discs I paid um, $9.44 for these. I don't know, I was finding it very, very hard to find them in the store, even though I saw some at Walmart the other day, but I couldn't forever. And so I actually got these on eBay. It looks like they bought them on clearance and sold them. But I was happy with the price. And then her matching dress for $20. And then she is loving Legos. We love Legos in this house as well. So this Lego Friends set was $32. Her total was $157.89. My oldest child is an eight-year-old boy, and these are the four gifts that he got from SC. Uh, his book is actually a coloring book. So he loves Dragon Ball Z. Um, actually, the ornament that I got him is a Goku, a Dragon Ball Z, but so it has a lot of pictures. A lot of times he'll have me um, print out a picture from like the computer with this and then he also loves to like trace them on his tracing board and like shade them and do different things but then he has a whole coloring book of them and I got this for I want to say $8.99 $8.55 um, so that's the first one and then I got this Gujitsu guy for $8.99. This guy I got for $8.99. I think I looked him up and he's like more expensive online. I found him at uh, Ross. So I was very, very happy with that. He loves these guys still. Um, and then his third gift is this Pokemon card tin. Again, it came in the pack with the other one, so this was only $10. And then he loves Pokemon as well, and he loves Lego, but he has been really liking um, these. They're called Nano Blocks. So we have, I think, one already, but they are Pokemon and they're just like, they're tiny little figures of Pokemon. They're tiny little bricks. Um, so I got a Piplup and a Pichu for him. And those two, I think one was $12 and one was $11.50. So they, you know, they're pricier, but he really, really likes these. So, you know, worth it, I guess. And then the four gifts from my husband and I are. So my husband um, likes to collect certain sets of Pokemon and um, we open a lot of Pokemon cards here in this house and then my husband will sometimes just like buy cards to finish up the sets that he wants to complete. My son has really liked the V cards. If you know Pokemon you know what that means. Um, so he is trying to collect a bunch of V cards. So we were in a, um, it was more like a a booth store you know like not like a vintage store that has like a bunch of booths so there was a guy that was selling pokemon cards so we picked all of these cards up so they're four v cards um for thirty dollars and if you know anything about pokemon cards so you can open packs and then it's just a random 10 cards that you get some of them can be very rare and then a lot of them are just going to be the common cards. So um, people, if they open a lot and they pull um, a duplicate, then they'll sell them and some of them can sell for more money. So that's why we paid $30 for four cards. So this was a Machamp V, Starmie, I don't know how you say this guy's name, some of them I know, and then I think this is a trainer. So uh, this is called like a rainbow rare type of card. So he, he's going to be very excited about those. So that's the explanation behind that. Um, again, he's loving Dragon Ball Z. He actually asked for these two figures um, specifically. So this guy, Android 17, and then Goku. Um, 
those are the two that he asked for. One was $21.99 and the other was $10.99. I cannot remember the site I bought these on, but I think you can find them in other stores, but I'll link the site specifically where I got them from. And then I found these, so this is, I do look at the clearance aisles quite frequently throughout the year. I do grocery pickup now, so I don't always go into Walmart, but I did find these on Walmart clearance and I picked them up because I knew they would be a good gift for him. So I got three figures for 350. He really loves action figures and still even at the age that he's at. So this one's Spider-Man, this one is um, Doctor Strange, and then this is Mysterio. So all three of those I paid $10.50 for together. And then the last gift from my husband and I is this Nintendo Switch game, um, Rhyme, uh, Rhyme, Raymond Legends, I guess is what it's called. So we got this for $21.32. So some of these things I included tax and some of them I just didn't worry about it. Uh, but his total was $147.84. So like I said, the average of all four children was right at $150. So I was really, really happy with that budget. Obviously, this could be a lot of toys for some and this could be not very many toys for others. You know, that's the great thing about being parents is we get to pick what we do for our children. And this is what my husband and I decided to do this year. This was our budget. This is how many things we decided to get. Um, we may be more minimal some years and we may splurge a little bit more on other years. It just really depends. Um, but I do, no matter what you're trying to spend, I always encourage you to make a budget and to make a budget early. I know it's close to Christmas now, but after Christmas, you can go ahead and start thinking about your budget for the next year so that you can go ahead and start putting money away every single month and looking for those sales if there are specific toys that you know that you're going to get. Thank you all again so much for watching and I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas.